Good morning from day two of our trip out to Disneyland for the Disneyland Half Marathon running weekend. Today, we're headed to Storytellers. So right now, Storytellers has a special fall overlay called Mickey's Autumn Adventures, where they're wearing their special like all fall outfits. And the cost is $60 for adults and $35 for kids. All you can eat buffet or all you care to eat buffet. And the characters will be roaming around and taking pictures during our breakfast. So from within the lobby, so the main entrance to Grand Californian is right there. And we're just gonna go straight through here, right there. And then that's the way to get to Storytellers. Here it is right here, Storytellers. That's where we're headed into it. It seems like there's not really a lot of people in there. So it should be pretty good. And you can see they've got Mickey, Mickey's Autumn Adventures sign out front. Breakfast and brunch from September 3rd through November 18th. Today is September 4th, so this started yesterday. Well, they have a little button inside celebrating uh, Mickey's Autumn Adventures. All right, we've got our seat, and as I sit down, I notice that they have some special drinks for Halloween. Dark comes tonight, it's got whiskey and uh, some ginger and lemon juice and honey. Okay, sounds kind of interesting. A Halloween espresso martini too. I think those might be for dinner. I don't know if they're available for breakfast. Just kidding, they might be because they do have breakfast cocktails. So you're having a good day? You showed up out of nowhere. You got caught me by surprise. I don't know. Are you all ready? Oh, yeah, it's good to see you. Are you all ready for fall? Yeah. Oh, I love fall too. Oh, I didn't even notice you have a little pumpkin right there that says Pluto. That's amazing. I like your outfit a lot. You look so cool. I just finished with Pluto. He showed up at the table like right after I sat down. And then when we were leaving, I'm doing good, how are you? So when Pluto was done, with the interaction, oh, there's Mickey too. I think Mickey's coming up. I'll wait for Mickey before I go up to the buffet. But Pluto was like, he like stuck his hand out to shake my hand and I was like, uh, shaking Pluto's hand. Thought it would have been like a high five or something. How's it going, Mickey? Whoa, look at you. Oh, I like this shirt too. The Grand, the Grand Apple Orchard. California apples established 2001. Ah, you love apples? Are you working at the apple orchard? It's your apple orchard. Oh. Yeah, you eat apples and then you sleep. That's the perfect fall activity. I love that so much. Is it okay if I get a, a quick video of you showing off your outfit? All right, so Mickey went into it and here's what I'm gonna do. From here on out, I'm going to, when I'm taking their photos or whatever, I will put the camera here, point it out so you guys can watch what's happening. Cause we just had the longest conversation about tattoos and flying over, he's like, are you from here or from somewhere? I was like, yeah, I flew over from Orlando. And then he had this thing where he like picked up a pair of pants and I was like, you put on pants? I didn't understand what that was all about. And he was just like, oh. he gave me the old brother. So I'm gonna leave it running the next time that somebody comes around because that was a really fun interaction. But right now we're gonna go over to the buffet, see what they got, get some breakfast. I'm looking at the wrong thing. I keep looking, I gotta look at, I keep looking at the screen. I gotta look at the camera. All right, so let's go get some breakfast. All right, we've got cereals, fresh fruit, there's a thing here that says, ask your server for milk. Caper cream, smoked salmon, toasted bagels, uh, yogurt, a Waldorf salad, granola, lots more fruit. Look at the amount of blueberries we got here. Assorted pastries over here, oatmeal in there, and then various things to add to your oatmeal. Butter chips as they call them. Oh, whole lot of Mickey waffles. Belgium waffles down here. Pork chilaquiles. Mediterranean quiche, some biscuits and gravy, lots and lots of bacon, lots of sausage, lots of eggs. These eggs look good. Some hash browns, French toast. Oh, but these have bananas on them. Little donuts and muffins. And then more assorted danishes. These things, I don't remember what those things are called, but they're there. An omelet station over here where you can have all these things added to it. And that's the whole whole thing. The only thing that was left was a carving station. There's some top sirloin, a roasted turkey, some ham back there it looks like. You got uh, cranberry sauce, salsa, more. <laughs> yeah, lots of stuff going on. And make their way around the restaurant doing a little dance. All right, here's what I got. I got an omelet, I got some bacon underneath there. It's kind of hard to see. Got some sausage, got some French toast, got Belgium waffles. Got, uh, oh, I forgot to get butter for those. That's okay. I got some hash browns. I got some biscuits and gravy. Yeah, and this is my omelet, which is like just ham, bacon, sausage. You know how I do. I don't know how you feel wrong with any of this stuff. Omelet, good. 
<laughs> Try these Belgian waffles. I didn't have any butter on them or anything. Yeah, oh, they're very sweet. Almost like those those liege waffles. Yeah, I feel I'm like getting crunchiness of, of sugar. I mean, it's still good, but like I was expecting just regular old Belgian waffles. I get Mickey waffles too. The French toast is lovely. It's got like a cinnamon, a little tiny hint of banana in there too. Here's the thing that I was interested in, was the biscuits and gravy. Traditional biscuits and gravy. Can't go wrong. It's so good. Dale, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How you doing? <clears throat> I like, yeah, it was very delicious. I didn't save you any. You can have one sausage. That's, oh yeah, no, they're not here. They're back in Orlando. I know. It's just, I came out here to do the run. <clears throat> yeah, I'm so scared of it. You've been working out too? Yeah, I can tell. You and me were gonna run together? All right. Yeah, get real sweaty. It's supposed to be very hot. It's be like 102 degrees outside. I know. I'm not looking forward to that. I would not, I'm very frightened of it. Yeah, 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 I gotta eat more so that I'm ready for it. I'm with you. Is it okay if I take a, oh yeah, look at this. Oh, whoa. Bam. I like that. Boom. Showing it off. I'm gonna do it on my phone really quick. Oh, picking your nose, oh dear. Oh no. I'm gonna, I have to see your outfit. You look so cool. Yeah, I gotta see what these are. <clears throat> Whoa, hit me with the look. Let me see what patches you've got here. Lovely's Farmer's Market, or Farm Market. Okay, yeah. Golden State Hayride. You got a squirrel down here? No, you got a squirrel, I don't understand. You're a chipmunk. What is happening? Both of you guys, chipmunks together, right? I can see it, there's the stripe, little tiny tail. The squirrel's got long tails. What is this? Who put a squirrel on your vest? <laughs> uh, photo. This one? This one? Perfect. Thank you, Dale. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Have a good day. Minnie, how's it going? Uh, yeah, the, all the fall, I love it. This is my vibe, 100%. Yeah, so I don't get, I'm from Florida. You can probably relate out here in California. Uh, it doesn't get cold ever in Florida. It's just swelteringly hot. So I never get to wear any of my sweaters. Yeah, and it rains a lot. Yeah, it looks so comfortable too. Pumpkins everywhere. Pumpkins on the hat, pumpkins on the sweater, pumpkin little, what do you call those things? Like. Pins, brooches, yeah. Well, thank you. Is it okay if we take a photo together too? Perfect, thank you, Minnie. Oh, thank you very much. Chip, how's it going? Doing good? I'm doing great too. You know what I just noticed? There's a painting over here that they're racing frogs in? Hey, I, what? This is a wild, oh yeah, you painted it? Oh, wow. I had no idea you were such an artiste. That's amazing. Are you ready for the cold weather? Yeah, me too, me too. Chip looking great. Let's see what you got going on. Everybody's got all kinds of patches on Welcome their stuff to too. Oh, you got a bird. I like that. Ooh, this is great. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, what, what, oh, thank you so much. Boop. Oh, you guys got to dance. Bye. Oh, and also they do this thing where they all kind of dance around. I'm gonna get up and uh, thank you guys over there because I want to get like a little dessert maybe. Ooh. Mickey wants me to put apples and stuff in my bag. You want me to put a banana in there? Are they gonna let me into the park with a banana? Yeah, I'll tell him Mickey said, put it in my bag here. No, just a banana. Oh, uh, apple too, okay, sorry, I'm sorry. Do an apple. Oh, apple orchard, that's what it says on your shirt. Gotcha, my fault. And cereal? I don't know if I have enough room. 
in my bag for serious. Just shove it in there. Or ruin the put it in my pocket. Alright. Alright, good to go now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be full at the park now and I will be ready to go. What well, Pinky promised. Yes. I promise you. He's the one that's in charge. Bye. Is button? One for my wife. Gotcha. All right, they're in Orlando. I know, that's what I said. I said they should be here, but they're not. Right now. You want me to stand next to you? Oh no, you're saying they should be here right now. Right now. I agree. I agree. I love you too. <laughs> Have a great day, Mickey. Bye. It was a very interesting end to the breakfast with Mickey forcing me to take Rice Krispies and a banana and an apple. He was very upset that I didn't want to take them. So I'm running these back to the room now before I head into Disneyland. Ever since I ate that spicy burger yesterday, my voice has been like going in and out. I'm, I'm unsure of what that means. All right, we've made it into downtown Disney. The Disney Grand California has its own special entrance into downtown Disney make it real convenient. We're right next to like the Sephora over here and Salt and Straws right there as well. And uh, Napolini Pizzerini. Grand Californian also enters near the previous location of the Marceline Confectionery. It's closed and you can see they've got scrim up because they are rebuilding it and reimagining it into Disney Wonderful World of Sweets. There's like an expanded sweet location with a different name. So yesterday on the way into DCA, I was talking about Pluto's Pumpkin Pursuit here in downtown Disney, and you can see this is a couple of examples of those pumpkins. You have a Lilo and Stitch pumpkin. So this is the sort of thing you're looking for on the pumpkin pursuit. Here are the prizes for Pluto's pumpkin pursuit. And there it's $9.99 to play, and you automatically get a prize. And then there are some commemorative pins that you can buy for $40 too. And here we are, we have arrived at the front gates of Disneyland, and they have all their pumpkin decorations up. You've got a Pluto pumpkin, a Mickey pumpkin, a Goofy pumpkin, a Minnie pumpkin, a Donald pumpkin. And there's a couple others back there behind the tree that I can't quite see. I should be able to hop right in right here. Feels good to be in Disneyland again. I like Mickey with his mask on in this little like uh, flower display. Halloween time at Disneyland. Love it, love the decorations. Feels good in the shade, it's cool. In the sun, it is definitely not. Gigantic Mickey pumpkin over here. All the pumpkins. I really like Halloween. It's a good time. We've got the Main Street vehicles coming down. So on this trip, I want to do some stuff that I didn't get to do when we were here for D23. So I'm heading into Tomorrowland first. We're going to get on Astro Blasters, which is similar to Space Ranger Spin, but the blasters you can take off of the, the car and move around and point them wherever you need to. So we're gonna go ride that first. I didn't get max pass this time or whatever it's called, the, the multi-pass this time. So we'll uh, see how it works out. If I need to, I can always buy it and use that. But right now the wait times are pretty low. All right, here's Astro Blasters. It says it's a 15 minute wait. Got quite a line outside. There it is, we've made it inside. It really is, it's only like a five, 10 minute wait. Oh no, their Buzz animatronic is behind a big curtain. I don't know what's happening. We're heading in. This is what the uh, things look like. All right. I'm excited. Because I can actually like, look, that's what I got to aim for. I can actually like maybe do this with one hand. Attention space rangers. Your space cruisers have been temporarily altered. Prepare to resume your mission. This one's like really hard to do. So I got level three, planetary pilot, that's it. Wow, yeah. I feel like I was hitting a lot of things too. It seems very difficult to get the highest score on this one. I've gotten it back home before, but like it was sort of easy back home. I thought this one was gonna be easier because I could just point the, the, the blaster wherever I needed it to go. 
Turns out it was not easier. I was just looking at the Disneyland app to see the wait times places. And then I thought to myself, let's fly by the seat of our pants. Let's just walk around and see what the wait times are at the rides and we'll ride them. I'm gonna show you guys the options for popcorn buckets that they have here right now. You got Jabba, you got Mickey in his, in his candy bucket, and then you have the magic key one for those magic key holders. All right, Nemo submarine voyage. Something we haven't been on in years. Let's get on it. There it is, there's the submarine going through. That's so cool. All right, we're heading into the Argonaut 807. This is exciting. I do have to warn you though, if you are a little bit taller, uh, nice and tight. G'day, this is the captain speaking. Now that we're underway, I'd like to welcome you aboard. As the conditions of our voyage may be unpredictable, let's take it down. Dive. Dive. Very bright out here for being down deep. Oh, look, there we go. I wish there was like real fish in here. But here below lies a strange and mysterious world filled with diverse creatures and a complex topography of plains, trees, mountains, and even volcanoes. We have an animatronic diver. It's so cool looking. Organ Charles, as we degrees this long lost community behind, we're about to enter a community of a different kind. We're not very deep at all. You can see the surface of the water right there. Set course to 70 degrees true. We can use instruments such as our sonar hydrophones to oh. actually hear the fish talk. Inside. What are they saying? Oh, look. Oh, there they are. Oh, what's all this? Oh, sharks. Uh oh, the sharks are showing up. I am a nice shark, not a mindless eating machine. People are afraid, not food. Secure all stations. System check. Are we steady, sir? fun. Now that we're outside, you can see some of the waterfall action that we went through. It's a fun little ride. Definitely like um, a once every so often thing. Nice to be in the air conditioning, but the rest of it was just kind of like, I think that our Nemo is better back at Epcot. I just bought a water because I left my water bottle in the room and they're like, it'll be $9.75. I was like, whoa, water's expensive out here. It's because they give you gigantic waters out here. Look at the size of this thing. It's huge. What is this thing? It's a full quart. One quart, 1.8 ounces. It's a liter. Oh, it's a liter of water. That's what it is. A lot of numbers on the bottom. Alice seems to be down right now. Not letting anybody else in the ride. But it is running. So I'm wondering what's happening. 
but all the all the like ropes are closed off. Oh yeah, there's nobody on it, so it must have just gone down. They're trying to get it back up right now. Heading into Fantasyland, I think I might try to get on Casey Jr. See what the wait time is for that. It's been a long time since I've been on Casey Jr. too. Honestly, it looks like a very short line. It's that one right up there. Now we're going for Casey Jr. See where we end up. I'm gonna go all the way to the back. We're really cooking. Oh, we gotta go up this hill. You know, here they install safety catches for this a chain lift because on opening day it didn't make it up this hill, which is funny for Casey Jr. Are we rolling right now? Is this considered a roller coaster? I know it's power, but like at that particular moment, were we coasting? We might have been. Are we going down power? Or are we going down the crap? What do you guys think? It has downhills, got a chain lift. It could very easily be a roller coaster. We're going pretty quick down this hill. All succulents down here, waiting for further clearance. And now we're coming into the station. We are approaching the station. Just like that, we've exited Fantasyland. Now we're in Frontierland. We're actually going to make a right into Galaxy's Edge here. Well, there's a pumpkin inside of here. Oh, it's Pluto. It's one of the hidden pumpkins. All right, let's head into Galaxy's Edge. So, like, this is a transition, right? from Frontierland into Galaxy's Edge. And there it is, on another planet. And it's always interesting coming this way because back home we don't have this entrance. There's a wall here and look at the first orders over here. So if I turn to my right, there's gonna be Kylo Ren's ship right there. And then this is where Star Cruiser used to enter. And then over there is Olga's Cantina. And this is the blue milk stand right here. So if you imagine back to Orlando, this is just a wall. Hello. Any useful information, are we? Yeah. Anything you'd like to share with the first order? Yeah, this hole is not familiar to me. Interesting, yes. Leads off planet. Yeah. But I have a very important mission on this planet. I'm well, looking for a resistant spy. Who's that? Yes, it goes by the call sign by Marotti. I've been tipped off she's here in the outpost recruiting for her little cause. Okay. If you're approached, you'll share that information at once, yes? If I'm approached by who? The Resistance. I'll share that Vimarati is helping them? If you find her, you'll come to Oh, I'll come to once. you? Yes. Okay, I can do yes, that. Cool. I'm not very smart, cool. I'm sorry. Yes, catch on quickly. Okay. Carry on, for Thanks. the order. Uh, the bright suns. <laughs> she might be mad at me because I didn't say for the order back to her. Millennium Falcon sitting in the same spot. Might as well ride it. It's a 20 minute wait for regular, but I'm a single rider. If I could just pop right in probably pretty quick. Let's see. Oh, the air conditioning in here is on point. This is some hefty air conditioning. So far, I'm the only one in the single rider line. I feel like this might be a quick, quick on and off for me. So you got two choices. Sounds like a lot of noise coming from there and not a lot of noise coming from over here. So I'm gonna go this way. Seems like a pretty good choice. Oh no, why are you guys peeling the paint out here? What'd you do? Chewie has done a bad job of keeping the porgies out of here. Got porgy nests everywhere. Brand new flight, good luck to you all. You might need it. Today's flight takes you to the planet Corellia. You will be intercepting a first order train shipment of coaxia. Get out of here and go make Hondo some money. <laughs> no, no, I'm an engineer. That's pretty much what you always get when you're a single, right, pilot, single writer. Push the flashing button to take off. Already hitting the wall. Oh, it's here. Pilot on the right. Oh, what's it? Goodness gracious. You know what? It's fucking thick already. All right. We're doing it. Oh, we made it. Look at us. Yes, yes, keep shooting. Left pilot, six. Good work. Oh, that was good. Oh. Okay, it's much worse. Oh, okay. Coaxium, <laughs> super dangerous. Yes, you got one. Now that the resistance has what they need. Maybe a little something for Hondo. Yes, yes, yes! We got the coaxium! I will grab it! Where's the 
Let me go! Oh, uh, we should probably get out of here, though. Let's get out of here! Nice work, everybody. Don't run into any asteroids. Your hyperdrive has failed. Pilots, evasive maneuver! Watch out! Get down! There we go, they're coming in hot. Watch out. You retrieve two containers of coaxia. This oh. will greatly help the resistance. Nice work. Your gut, minus what you owe me for damaging the Falcon, is... Hey, not bad. This thing has seen better days. Not better fix all good. that before the Wookiee sees it. Oh, there's Chewy. Chewie's out and about. I uh, probably shouldn't tell him how much we just wrecked the Falcon. Ooh. Ooh. This is interesting because it is a busy day out here. But even on a busy day, this whole area right here is kind of empty. Which is wild because back home this is like packed full of people all the time. Question for those of you guys that might know. So like, this is lower here in California, right? Than it is back home? Or am I just like imagining things? It seems much lower to the ground. Just kind of wandering around now, back in Galaxy's Edge. I wonder, so ours has like a little Easter egg for Lights, Motors, Action. I wonder what, if this is the same. Let me look. Pretty funny because this, if you look at the Arabesh alphabet, this is LMA for Lights, Motors, Action because that's what was replaced on our coast, but they didn't change the little symboling on it for this coast. When I was looking at the app last, the wait time for Rise of the Resistance was like 85 minutes or something like that. Let's see what it is now. 120 minutes, two hours. Sweet two hour wait. We're gonna continue on our way. Hungry Bear closed down. They are replacing it and they're renaming it to Hungry Bear Barbecue Jamboree. Or maybe it is back open. I mean, they already replaced the sign at least. So their Tiana's doesn't open until November, but we're going to make a right and head back towards uh, Winnie the Pooh. So they have been running logs, but definitely not today. We're working on it still. Here we go, the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. I'm excited for the air conditioning, I think. <laughs> it's so hot. I'm gonna take a break after this, head back to the hotel room, cool off, get some lunch back at Grand Californian. A little bear named Winnie the Pooh set off in search of money. Day. Windy day. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, Hello. 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 Oh, look at this like neon tiger. That's fun. They farted on us. So I show this every time, but this used to be country bears. So they still have the characters from the wall in here. Kind of hard to see. You guys saw them? They're there. Oh. Max Buff and I can't remember the third one. Is it Buford? Party boy! is a Winnie the Pooh meet and greet back here. He's not there right now. The character attendant is back here. So I'm assuming that he'll be here soon, but it's just so hot. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna head back to the hotel, get some lunch and chill out in the room for a little bit. I did get a virtual queue for Haunted Mansion Holiday. However, it has not been called yet. So they're on group 105. I am group 124. Maybe we'll be able to write it later after the fact, like later on tonight. Interesting thing about Disneyland, New Orleans Square and Frontierland always seem to be the most crowded sections of the park. I'm not sure why. Like I get it, like Pirates of the Caribbean and Haunted Mansion and stuff are over here, but it there are other rides over there too. Like why is it, why is it only crowded over here? So yeah, I am heading out of Disneyland, going back into downtown Disney and then back over to Grand Californian, get some food. Before I leave, I was just inside the Emporium here. Look at this, these two My Boo shirts. They're $29.99 each, but if you buy two of them, they're 25 bucks a piece, so 50 bucks for the two of them. All right, leaving Disneyland for the time being. We'll be back. But right now, I'm gonna go grab some lunch. Also, I'm gonna sneak through the world of Disney 
Have a look at their Halloween stuff. Last time we were here, we already looked at their Halloween merch, but I just want to see if there's something new. I have seen some shirts around the park that I haven't seen, or that I didn't see last time. I just want to look. Nope, I'm not really seeing anything. There we go, heading back to the Grand Californian from downtown Disney, right here. All right, this is what I got. I went to Craftsman Grill, which is at the Grand Californian, and I just got a sandwich and some chips and a cookie. Don't tell anybody about the cookie. And just so you know where that's at, there it is right there. The other restaurant, the pool bar out here is right next to the pool. And then this is the spa over here, right there. And this right here, just past the gates, is the entrance to DCA. And here's what I got for my lunch. I got the Italian sub, smoked ham, salami, provolone, pepperoncini, red onions, marinated cherry tomato, iceberg lettuce, Italian roll with grapes and strawberries. And then I also got some Kettle brand barbecue chips. And then my little cookie. There it is. And a Tapa Chico. Yeah, it looks kind of good. We'll see how it is. All right. I'm feeling refreshed, feeling good. Sat down, watched the new episode of Only Murders in the Building. Fantastic show. I'm ready to go back out to Disneyland now. Let's go. And just like that, we're back in Disneyland. I don't know what we're gonna do. Adam, I think, is gonna come and meet us out here. And then the world is our palm tree. We can do whatever we want to. Also, I just realized we have a queue, a virtual queue for Haunted Mansion Holiday that got called while we were at the hotel. So let's go ride it. Looks like it'll be a short little wait for us. That's good. I'm excited. I know that I just rode this, but I like it. I like it a lot. Can't wait to ride it again and see if I see anything different that I didn't see the last time. I know you're curious to see what's inside. It's what happens when two holidays collide. Welcome, my friends, to our Christmas delight. It's time for our holiday tale to begin. There's no turning back now. That was pretty good. Seamless. More rapid than vultures, the mansion was changed. <laughs> it all looks so pleasant. A seated coffin of Jack Sayers makes a fine Christmas present. Bring out the bamboo or cheer to uncover. The right from wrong. What is it? Oh, I got a, a bunch of dynamite. How perfect. I love dynamite. So that was my first time using DJI on low light mode in Haunted Mansion Holiday. What do you guys think? How did it look? Tell me. Forget my Christmas night. Be back. Came into Tiana's palace. Looking for a mint julep. Can you, oh, look, there's Adam the Woo. They do have coffee in here. Yes. Chicory. Chicory's not coffee though. Oh, it's not. But this has Joffrey's coffee. Joffrey's coffee TM. That's a brand name. Yeah. It's too much. You should ask him. Because chicory is decaf. Oh, I don't want that. But if you get a chicory coffee, it's like half chicory, half coffee. Okay. I don't know right? what chicory is, but I really don't know. It's a root. I don't know if chicory is decaf. Right I need here. to look that up. It's a root of a blue flower perennial plant. Oh, that's roasted nice. ground and mixed with mixed with coffee. Mixed with coffee. It's chicory coffee. Interesting. Is chicory caffeinated? 
The coffee is. I don't know. But it's the yeah. chicory. Yeah. Well, the, this chicory is because it's a blend of coffee and chicory. I want to see how many times I can say chicory in this. You want to race? Is it like, uh, is it like Beetlejuice? You say it three times. It appears. Cool. What if I go in the in the beignet line, and you would go in here, and we see who finishes first? So as it turns out, you have to go outside to get a mint julep, but they have a mango peach seasonal one right now. Uh, oh. Usually I get the regular mint julep, but I'll try something a little bit different. I went with the mango peach, and you can't get them inside Tiana. Tiana's restaurant, you have to go to the mint julep. What? You're bar. running away from me. I'm trying to like, I don't know what I'm trying to do. You're doing great. Yeah, I'm thank proud you. of you. I appreciate it. You look the great in the bright. sunlight. The sun's very bright, very bright. I'm trying to stay out of the sun, my nose is burned. Did, will you drink it already? <laughs> Do you ever say anything when you drink stuff? Oh, that's good. It is good. I say that's good. But I mean like, when you, if you're like, you know, like, over the river and down the hatch. You ever oh, say anything like that? That doesn't taste anything like a mint julep. It tastes a little minty. So, <laughs> by, by the name. But wait, what, do you not say anything? Do you have like a phrase like, Man, bottoms up, cheers. Bottoms up. From the top to the bottom, from the bottom to the top, it's time for New Orleans Square to get it and drop it. Heading on to Pirates of the Caribbean. Let's see what the wait is. 20 minutes, not bad at all. It's Johnny Depp. There he is. Front row. Of the Look, at Look at how wet it is up here. Well, there's a drop. There's, a there's, two, there's drops. Two, drops. two drops. Two drops. Who put two drops in this ride? There's a uh, gator in here, by the way. A real one? A fake gator. Oh. Show it okay, hold on. There it is. He's got green eyes. I did, yes. Do you see how tiny this boat is? It's one of the Mike Is it? No. It looks like it, doesn't it? A keel boat. Do you know the plot line of this? Right now, the pirates are dead, and they're not telling any tales. But halfway through, they start telling us tales, and they come alive. We got so wet on that first drop. Now here's the second drop. Please don't get my socks are wet. Okay, we're dropping. <laughs> Woo, look at that wave. Oh, 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 oh geez. All right, we're good. See, this guy's in here telling us how dead men tell no tales. And they're all dead, right? You know how you can tell they're dead? That's right. Plus that guy didn't have a stomach. See, this guy's dead. He's not telling any tales. But then as we pass by him, he's like, you know what? I think I will tell you some tales. And he's alive again, just like that. Now all the pirates are alive. My Spotify rewind is just gonna be these guys. And now that Jack has taken the treasure, we are no longer cursed to have to see the dead pirates. So we're heading back up to the area where the pirates are dead again. All right, we saw, we looked on the app and we saw that uh, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway, only a 20 minute wait. So we're gonna head back to Toontown. Toontown, USA. By the way, the best Wi-Fi in any Disney park is inside of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I'm talking 600 megabytes up and down. Really? Do you like, like set up an office in there? Yeah, you could. Calls and have to do work? How It'd do be, you know this? I did a speed test on it last time I was in there, just to see. I'll show you. There it is, heading into Toontown. Oh, look at that. Seven o'clock on the dot. Are you doing a dance? I'm pretending I'm one of the, uh, the drummer boys. Oh. This is how I play the drums. You're a little drummer boy. I'm not little. Per rum pum pum pum. Nor am I <laughs> Who's saying that? What? Jesus. Toontown still says it's a 20 minute wait. It's exciting. Look at me. I'm the king of New York. Yeah? Disney Junior just started a show called Kindergarten the Musical. Mickey's delayed date. Sorry, this poster is, uh, well, delayed. Love Minnie Mouse. Ready? Watch this. Okay. 
Look at this guy. Look at the speed in here. Holy macaroni. You should upload a video from in here. Right? This video, when you're done editing it, come back here and upload it from in here. Oh. I feel like the video would do really well. Okay. Just because it was uploaded from here. Yeah. Okay. Wait, it just went down. No, it's telling me. I like that the movie showing in here is the wrong door. Because that's not the door you go into. In the queue for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, I found a little, found a little hidden Mickey. My favorite. Potato, Potato lamb. lamb is the best Mickey short in my opinion. It really is. Hidden Mickey. It's kind of really hidden, isn't it? Back behind Abraham Potato. Potato Ham Lincoln. Potato Lamb. What do you call him? Potato Ham Lincoln. Is that even pointing at me? It's like looking over there. <laughs> You're like in this corner. I have this problem a lot. I like this effect. It's like Pepper's Ghost in here. Doesn't seem to be working right now. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, I remember that. Oh, there we go, yeah. It's cool looking, right? That is real, it's digital, it's digital. And look at that, who is that up there? Is that Mickey, or is that Minnie, or that's just a mouse? Cheryl. Cheryl the mouse? Yeah. Hi, Goofy! You play my big Yep, we're off to the park! See you all later! So they needed to fill one more row in the uh, the handicap car, so they just like put me and Adam back here, and we're waiting to get loaded onto the train out here. So we're replacing this car right here, and I think this car will go back there behind us. Look at it, it's turning. That's awesome. So now we're just like attached to this train. I love this sunshine when he's so angry doing his low notes. Also, we get to see that thing in the last scene. It's just interesting. Hidden Mickey. We don't have this scene in Orlando. We've just like launched backwards. I've never had that happen. That was wild. I feel like aliens. Hidden Mickey. So because we're in this specific car, everybody else got out and we're staying in because we have to go back to where we got in. So this is like the in-between section where they're like loading over there. But people are offloading here. And we're gonna go back into that little cubby over there. There's no train in there right now, but now we're gonna spin around and go right in here. And we're gonna back right into this little spot here. This is awesome. Like it's such a neat little thing that they have. A neat system. There he is, Ernest S. Marsh. Okay, one of my favorite people. Now we're all done with Toontown. We're headed into Tomorrowland. Gonna get some food. Gonna try um, Pizza Planet. It's been a while since we've been at Pizza Planet. Look at how beautiful Nemo subs are. Rode this this morning. So this is what it looks like from the top side. All right, Alien Pizza Planet. See what they got. Maybe they got something special for Halloween. This is the dark matter pizza, tomato sauce topped with mozzarella cheese, spicy Italian sausage, roasted mushrooms, and black olives. Yeah. This is also the Halloween pasta. This is the blush pasta, Italian sausage with chef's choice of pasta topped with spicy blush sauce, 
and garnished with tomato relish. I like that you know all that. I'm just reading it off the screen. But you're reading it. Yeah, I got regular pepperoni. And you got one of the last three of the Halloween. This is the Alien Buzz macaron. Filled with berries and cream instead of they usually have chocolate in them. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I thought you knew all that from the card. No, it's here. It's on the you're screen. Reading, you're reading, just, it uh, just okay. reading it off the thing. I was just reading it off the thing. I'm not that smart. Sorry. There it is. You can see it's got berries and like a berry filling rather than a chocolate filling. I feel like if the minions had never come along, these aliens would have been much more popular. You think? Oh, no, I lost the fork. They took some of their thunder away. You're mangling them. I'm trying to see the inside oh, of you it. You want to see the inside. Yeah. See, look at that. If I admit that, you'd never see that there's a huge air gap really in there. That looks really good. Make it taste evil? Spicy? Oh. Make it spicy? Like no, it's a, little, it's a little loud with berries and cream inside. I, I, I almost quoted that, but I waited for you to say it. Is it all right? Chewy, sweet, creamy. Okay, a little bit of everything. That's pretty That's okay. All right, I feel like I've got one more ride in me. We just checked the wait times. Jungle Cruise, 10 minutes. It's great. Let's go see the Jungle Cruise. They should have a spooky Halloween overlay for Jungle Cruise. They do Christmas. Do they do Christmas out here? No, yeah, that's only, you oh, guys only got in Orlando. Orlando. I got it in Florida too because I'm a Floridian. You're a Floridian. Born and raised. I Look at us. I wasn't born there. You weren't born in Florida? I was there in 91. Get out of here. I thought you were a native Floridian. Florida this whole Florida. time I've been your friend and I was thinking you were a native Floridian. I apologize. Man. Walt here has a bunch of different pumpkins around him. Buzz Lightyear, Adam the Woo, Tarzan, Jack Skellington, Woody, I bet you that one's Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, these are neat. All right, heading into the Jungle Cruise. 10 minute wait, perfect. Now they told me that's a Himalayan tiger, but come on. Uh, it must stand up. Have you ever seen so many pachyderm in one place? It's practically unheard of. Oh, on the right here's little squirts. Well, they've gone wild out here with guns, but they really flip over that jeep. Oh, straight ahead, that's Spicer Fall. Named for the famous explorer, Dr. Albert Fall. Yeah, just around the riverbed, we'll reach the African Belt. Home to numerous species. Look at these areas. These are giraffes, the four zebras. Oh, three. The three zebras. Interesting. There were four zebras here when I came through earlier. Well, look at that sweet pride of lions. Uh, taking care of that sleeping zebra. Yeah, that's how zebras sleep with their necks all bent. Surrounded by lions. Up. Oh, they are getting ready to charge us. And I'm out of money. I'm gonna need to scare them away, so please cover your ears. I just saved all your lives. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, that's a real chip right there. Hey, great news. If anyone's looking to buy a boat, today's your day. That one's half off. This is what we come from the jungle to see. The amazing, the stupendous, the colossal eighth wonder of the world. Look out! Oh, boy, that's great. Those guys are lost and found, so if you lose something, well, they'll find it. And they'll sell it. My name is Skipper Q, uh, which is spelled Q. <laughs> and if you haven't enjoyed it, well, great news, your favorite part of the journey is coming up in just a moment. Uh, you've been an outstanding crew tonight, truly outstanding, but now I am really looking forward to seeing you. Oh, standing. On that dock. Yeah, so that's it. Get out. All right, it's about nine o'clock. I think I'm gonna call it a night. I'm good. Spent a lot of time at Disneyland today. I'm gonna go back to the hotel, relax. We've got Runners Expo, and then we'll go to DCA tomorrow. Adam brought me over to show this cat outside of Gibson Girl. I don't believe that that's a rat. A cat. It looks it's like a rat. a rat. A rat. Cat, cat rat. That cat has seen some things. Yeah, it has. But not all at the same time. Yep, different times. Yeah. This book has seen some stuff too. Something wicked. Oh. I like that cat. I'm gonna get that tattoo. I'm gonna get a tattoo on my back. Where on your back? Whole back piece. The whole back piece. Like Steve O's face.
There you have it. That was our day. That was our trip to uh, Storytellers in the morning. Then we went to Disneyland, had a little break. Then we went back to Disneyland. Fun and exciting day. We did a lot of stuff. Got a lot accomplished. I don't know. I really, really enjoyed Storytellers. It was so much fun. The character interactions were so good. A bit on the expensive side, but I think it's worth it for the character interactions. Uh, their new outfits were amazing. All the rides we did today, super fun. We got on kind of a lot of them. Ending out the night with some pizza. It was good. It was a good night. So all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>